Okie doke, I still have my fan on. I was wondering why I was actually feeling cool for a change. Make sure my phone's good. Up to day, look at this. Yes, I'm totally prepared. Okay, and I'll tab. Okie doke. I think I'm just in right the spot I can get the air conditioning. Kind of. Anyway. Okay, mouse, please do not screw with me today. Alright, so. I think it was something I wanted to talk about, but I kind of forgot what it was. Something stupid that popped up in the news. I think. Well, I mean, not important. <coughs> Otherwise, I probably would have remembered it. So, if I'm not mistaken, we just got back on board the Normandy. And everything is locked up. Fish. Private toilet. Private terminal. Team status. Brandon and Jacob. Okay, right. so yeah, we just got started last time. I came out of nowhere. I think I'm going to try something a little different this time. Normally I end up heading straight to like Omega and grabbing Garrus and Morton. Right now though, I'm not entirely sure I've talked to everybody on the ship yet. We do for you, Commander. Are you set up okay down here? Outside of those T6 FBA couplings we mentioned, we're doing fine. I bet you could find them in the Omega markets if you wanted to help us out. Anything else? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Okay, so I clearly talked to them last time. to the doctor yet. I'm thinking I have, but I don't know. I haven't. How may I help you, Commander? Oh, there you have. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. And funding is not a problem for us. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Okay, so I guess I did talk to everybody, so I think I'm ready to go. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch things up just a hair. Normally, I, like I said, I go to Omega first. I'm going to go to Purgatory instead. 
It'll be interesting to see how Miranda and Jacob handle that. Okay, let's see here. Most black army crash side. Mass relay. I know for a fact that the uh, characters have dialogue depending on the situation they're, that they're in. I'm kind of wondering how this is all going to play out. A little bit of a butterfly effect experiment. Well, kind of. More experiment of what all did they put in the game. I think we get the nomadic. Shepard, your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. <laughs> no. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiram, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. You must realize that's not going to happen. I'm not surrendering my gun, period. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Never, so ever, ever secure a weapon. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens when they don't? What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket? You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Oh, yes, we will. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space and the galaxy is a safer place. So you just had a good idea then? You do this because you think it's <coughs> necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. All right, then. Let's get on with this. Place like this, there must be escape attempts. 
we're in space, they have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. I don't usually notice that, but kind of felt kind of like I was getting the evil eye from him. Over here, let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Really? Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. Seemed a little excessive. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. So basically, that's a slave racket. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. I guess he's had a little experience with backdoor buggy. I should go. Wish I could go. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Okay. You can just stare right there, buddy. That's right, that guy doesn't actually have anything to say. Just to prove it. And for the sake of completion. We talked to everybody. This is the Supermax wing. It's off limits. Out processing is back down the hall on your room. They'll bring your package there after the cryo thaw is finished. Where are you blip there? Out processing is through the door on the far side of the room. Got a couple of guesses on what that splat is. Some are a little more tame than others. My apologies, Shepard. Your 
more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems! Well, that was effective. I don't like the way that you put that weapon back, you know, it always looks like you're just like hiking it up your ass. Select is a cranial blast slam. Overload. Put that here. Put this there. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've got him. Shepard is on the loose. Okay. We have that control. Every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of cryo. I'm doing it. Be ready. Done without the ice cubes. They froze her with full makeup. We need to get down there. Warning. Warning. Sounds like heavy fight. Okay, seriously, do they just like not believe in mops here? Oh, what's this? Okay, look around, scan everything. All guards, restore order! Lethal force authorized! But don't kill Jack! Tex, lockdown, lockdown! Sectors 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. That's why I'm supposed to take this.
think it's pretty easy to stay down for a second. Just right. The hull has been breached in sectors 12, 14, and 30. No survivors. shooting at, but that was a lie. <clears throat> oh, Randa's up there. I'll say anything.
I'm not supposed to loot until nobody has anything. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Just keep telling yourself that, bud.
Maybe she was not happy about that. <clears throat> what the hell do you want? I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? We well, I came here to get you out. You're in a bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm offering to be your friend. You don't want to be my enemy. They have a way of ending up dead. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? Yes. This ship is going down in flames. I've got the only way out. I'm offering to take you with me. And you're arguing. They could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I don't. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. Oh, it upsets the cheerleader. Even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Yeah, believe it or not, Miranda, my ship, my rules. I say she has full access, she has full access. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Always remember, you catch more flies with honey than you do with tar. Okay, this is the only problem with playing as Sentinel. In the first game, all your weapons actually work. In the third game, all your weapons actually work. In the second game, there's certain class rules, which is just irritating. Tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests depersonal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, always remember after every mission, talk to Joker. He always has something funny to say. Okay, Shepard. Glad you're back. But keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. 
Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. It does have a mute button. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Not get a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. That's it for now. See you, Commander. <laughs> uh boy. It always kind of worries me out when people say they have a problem with Seth Green. It's like, why? He's funny. <laughs> Especially as Joker. <laughs> Here some of his other stuff I'm not that crazy about. The robot chicken was kind of funny. Okay, let's see here. We're just going to head back to Omega. There's way too much to do here. That and I kind of like to have something more than like the basic bitch pistol. certain I didn't already scan this planet. <coughs> no, no, maybe I did. Omega, now that I think about it, kind of reminds me of uh, The Ascent. Interesting little twin stick shooter RPG that uh, I was able to play on Game Pass through Game Share, funny enough. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot, now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I 
I've also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Please. Shut it. Said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Okay, then. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. All right, then. Who's this? My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please, I didn't do it. I said, shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always want to Omega. Okay, well, take care of that. See you on board. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No, of course he didn't. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. Okay, we'll pencil it in. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stick. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Histamines. Right, that's Omega for you. Everything's gonna have fallen apart. And there's always something leaking. Somebody is drunk as shit.
I was thinking it's a little weird we ended down the shot, but like <laughs> you still have the mask on. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler, and only one more. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. I'd like to see you try, Pookie. <coughs> so, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Morden Solace. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. Really? What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and how? You want him dead, too? Uh, no. What's with half of Omega? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Nice. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble, Omega. Really? What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help. That could be our way in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. One thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. So what else do you know about him? What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Okay, well, thanks for the heads up. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. 
Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, mind your own damn business. Okay, I can do that. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Where the hell else are you gonna be? Sound like she's gonna be running off in the war zones anytime soon. Just boring junk anymore. <laughs> Imagine this. You're in the Nexus. It's late. And the only one around is that scratching prophet. And a few boredom scratching. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well. You seem like a decent person, but you can't breathe a word of it to Harry. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket on this station. Really? Why does Herrick control your prices? Herrick made me swear not to undercut it, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. He can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Herrick for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. Thank you. Oh, aren't you a little goblin? I think this is the first game if you're a spacer, there's a conversation you can have with your mom. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What conversation about Aquarian? 
Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, you drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. Okay, let's see what you have. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. I always appreciate the uh, Elcor smoking a cigar. Okay, need this. This is valuable. Yes, indeed, I need all of it. Why don't you just go ahead and go, scoot? How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way. I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Eh, every pilgrimage is a learning experience. Sometimes, people are friendly. There you go. 1,000 credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. We can use this. There's the T6 couplings. Get a medic. Get a plasma shotgun. some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. This should come in handy. Ugh. Fornax. A position you'd never want to see a Hanar in. The Kane and Alenko Memorial Scholarship has begun sending gifted human biotics to the Ascension Project for care and training. Alenko, a graduate of the controversial Biotic Acclimation and Temperance Training Project, sacrificed his life to help stop Saren on Vermeer. <laughs> Training is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. Uh, really? 
So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. Well, unfortunately, I kind of have to go in there. Wait a minute. Where are you out here? I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. Okay. That, uh, believe it or not, does not exclude me. Or, actually, does not include me. Include, exclude, include, you go in, exclude, you don't go in. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. The area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Plague zone, but I'm immune. Sounds fun. Let's go. <laughs> it was a good idea to bring her along. Good. <clears throat> Especially as stuff was a pain in the ass to find out in the field. Don't shoot. They're clear to come in. Good luck in there. Blue suns and vortures shooting anything that moves. All right, we'll keep an eye out. Flesh. Plague control at its most basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them. Yeah, when uh, the big one recently broke up, uh, I think it was a couple places actually did that. Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you have the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. I'm not here to steal anything from you. Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind 
has done too much already. Uh, your blame did this to me. Uh, your faint pity uh, is the final insult. Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> And the wretched Borgia. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morden and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you. <coughs> I hope. Damn it. Damn you. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Solace. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. Dangerous how? What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's... I'm just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Forcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Forcha are immune to disease. <coughs> A human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <coughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. You were talking about Vorcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Ah, crap. Let's see if I can get that dialogue out to back. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. Okay, here we go. When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <laughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope. Right in the darkness of my final hours, I want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. Alright, so to it, try to focus on staying alive. I should go. Goodbye, you.
tried to claw his way through the walls. It never works. I hope these aren't old computers. Okay, Jesse's. She brought Skyrim. Those two Turians. I'm thinking he's the one that made the recording. That looks to be Dallas. I don't have a map here. Shit. Oh, okay, crap. Uh, I know that hallway goes down further. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's down here. Okay, we have stuff. As in dead stuff. coughing at all, so he might actually not have been infected. I think he probably was just in here and starved to death. At least he died in his sleep.
Okay, there he's clear. Supposed to be going, which means I need to go look down here. <coughs> Apartments, okay. Gee, it might help to read the signs. We got a nice little kitchen area in here. Started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns' territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns' territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. It usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh, yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans, and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them, too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. In that case, you might want to go to the clinic. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Borcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides... I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. Don't worry, I fixed that problem. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morton's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. 
We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. And after this all blows over, you might want to consider investing in some hardware. <coughs> territory. If the Vorcha don't finish off the Blue Suns, I will. Bastards gave me trouble once. Okay, there is clear. Okay, I do like how they uh, upgraded from Mass Effect 1 aesthetic to the Mass Effect 2 and 3. It's the same aesthetic, but it's like been beefed up a little grittier, a little darker, you know, a little more realistically laid out. Shit, clinic guard. We got him. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Not much, but I think it's just like a couple of credits. Professor, we're running low on some proxy. Use Bladeron. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in materials. Supplement with Butemerol. Butemerol. Got it. is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not have a call? Do it. Inconsistent 
This should come in handy. Professor Morgan Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha, crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha, a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. Oh, for the love of God, take a breath. I came here to find you, okay? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on Kino. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar, but must stop Plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. No problem. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. Damn it! Now what? Forge have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks may come in handy against Forcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Forcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. Oh, well, there's a guy that uh, needs your help right out the uh, entry to the area. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Forge is still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Sun's came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. He does have a little devious side, doesn't he? What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variants. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus, testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not technical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. All right, I'll get on this. Let's head for the environmental plant. M6 Carnifex hand cannon. Ha <laughs> ha love it. Nothing better is the suppressed version from 3.
that they were not still fighting because I have to sneeze. you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Um, one more step and we'll kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him know. You got what you want to kill him. Are we free to go? Yep. Go on, take off. We had a deal. You were nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? Yes, he did. He needs you back at the clinic. The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Uh, thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. That's everything in there. Trouble incoming! Take the hint. I definitely do not want to take the low road.
Here they come. Only problem with the current fix, low ammo count. It's kind of a long-standing question I've kind of wondered about with Mass Effect, and fortunately or unfortunately, there's, no really, there's really no way to test it. <clears throat> if you were to pick out something like a 700 Nitro Express or like a 50 Browning, how exactly would a Krogan that withstand that? There's the control room up ahead. Let's pop the cure in and get those fans running. Thing. Let's turn on the fans and cure this damn plane.
I should breathe a little easier. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Borcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. That's yeah, the difference between us. Doctor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients. Sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go and check point. on the patients. Lots of work to do. <coughs> Think about what I said. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic. Should be able to handle it now that Borch are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the Collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. This mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spread's too slow. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. We're going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized boy. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? Yes, yes it is. This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Uh, that way. Follow me, Professor. That's a lot of stuff unlocked. Of 
bunch of chitin armor. Okay, so you click the first guy, and then all of a sudden you get all the stuff. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, nope. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Really? Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers. Brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted given wide operative freedom. Spectre's similar. Given goal, told to accomplish. Better funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. Well, I still buy my own weapons anyway, so, you know. <clears throat> you said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. I agree Probably with that. military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Eh, hey, none taken. There's always assholes like that. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here, if you need me. Yeah, typically the term for guys, they're all about the, you know, bravado and, uh, rah, 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 you know. We call them motarded. Okay, service assault arc, collector assault rifle, collector armor, infernal armor, and shotgun, da, 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 missile launcher. Take with everything I can get. Let's see, advanced training is retrain powers. M920 Kane, otherwise known as the Nuke Launcher, or BFG 9000, or Tata Nuke, or basically a big ball of hell.
surprised when I used that because I remember when I originally had this game on the 360. I did pre-order, but for whatever reason... Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Of course I have. For whatever reason, I, uh... I never actually managed to get the, uh... promo code for whatever it was... to actually use it. Okay, Commander, I understand... I'm on the council, okay. Marcus Red. Untitled from here in the Oh, yeah, this is one of the freaking weirdos. Billy from... the prison. Facial scars. Lost contact with survey ship. Project Firewalker. Crash site located. DLC. Recon hood. Got that. Overlord. Got that. Arc projector. Got that. Rendezvous with Kasumi. Got that. Ascension Financial Services. Your account. Systemic dust. Banking Ascension Financial Services. Essential Financial Services. Earth. Okay. Assassin's change from deceased to alive. Good. Okay, so if you had a Dragon Age Origin save, it immediately unlocked this armor. Terminus is a pre order bonus. I think so is this. I'm pretty sure this is a pre order, but I'm not too sure what the old world. But you had to do get it. <clears throat> Inferno came with Project Firewalker. I'm thinking I ought to probably roll with this. Problem is, it's a little limited. Got to fix the music in here. That's no fair yet. Oh, get original Slimmy. No. What's the Omega thing now? Ooh. Does it finally just shut off? Yay. Finally, I'll be able to sleep! Okay. No messages for you, Commander. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Hamster on coffee. I was thinking ferret on crack. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Hadley, you heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Commander. Nothing to say about Morton? I assume everything's going well up here. We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. 
It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. <laughs> That's it for now. See ya, Commander. Keep rolling this set up for a little while. Or can we that? Mm. Okay, shoot machine pistol, kick ass hand cannon, the fuck you stick. Sniper rifle, assault rifle, okay. I think we're good. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis' assistant has been helping any patients with complications. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead fortune down there. You know anything about this? Who, me? I'm just a tourist. Dead fortune? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. What is your job, anyway? What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the fortune in line, keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. The way those Vorcha breed. I'll have something to do soon enough. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Kind of funny how that dude is still here trying to get in. <laughs> Each, you get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the Mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Who? Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah. 
Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garn's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The Mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? You would be amazed. Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. Lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a porch out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. All right then. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Sign in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use Whoa. it. Whoa. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Yeah, okay, so when it comes to guns, you kind of get what you pay for. <laughs> One of the things you definitely don't want to do is trust your life to a pistol that costs 50 bucks. <laughs> oh, boy. Plus, if you can like, completely take it out by just like whacking it a couple of times, yeah. <laughs> That's a high point. <laughs> Come on, let me in. It's kind of funny, everybody goes on about, oh, yeah, high points are built like a tank, you can't bust them. It's like, yeah, if you're actually testing them using them under normal circumstances, yeah, you, know, you typically need to strap a C clamp to the barrel and hold the slide ship before it'll explode. That said, if you fling into a rock, that's not a steel slide. It's like this weird, funky composite that will crack completely. Grantham did that. Uh, and, um, yeah, just check his video out. High points kind of suck. Also, <sighs> I talked to a guy, General Dell, 30 year veteran, Denver Police. Teaches pistol courses. Every possible malfunction you can have with a pistol, you will have with a high point. Especially if you start trying to use hard, you know, really professionally use it. As far as just fucking with your buddies at the range, yeah, sure, go ahead. You know, throw 100, maybe 150 bucks at it. Anything you get for 50 bucks, throw it straight in the trash. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Yeah, the only way they were able to hit uh, a direct blowback in 9x19 Parabellum with a high point. There are ways to do that, and the high point shows the crappiest way possible. Basically, you stick a 2 pound slide on top of a 2 ounce frame. Now, other manufacturers of higher quality did that with a severely stiff recoil spring. Uh, the HK VP70, what's well, so, yeah, yeah, the VP70. Basically, uh, Leon's gun from Resident Evil 2. It's kind of kind of his signature weapon. That is the HK VP70. That is basically the high-end high point. It has a polymer frame. It's probably the first commercially successful polymer frame pistol. It has a normal weight slide. It has a severely heavy recoil spring and deep cut rifling. So every time you shoot a 9x19 Parabellum, it basically spits out with about the power of a 380 auto <clears throat> because there's just so much blow through and gas and that's you know heavy spring deep cut rifling so it funds vents uh, gas forward through the actual barrel and uh, that is the only way you can actually fire that thing and not have it explode 
Also, apparently has a, a trigger like a staple gun, which is, I think, probably the only actual safety mechanism it has. Anyway. Well, let's check out Forgotten Weapons, because he's got the full money on that one. <laughs> he even took it to the range. Yeah, he gets to do a lot more school stuff than I do. I just might have been to Fallout 4. Anyway, then I'd rather mod it as a statue in it instead of EP70. Someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shot it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout. But they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. I better go find Sergeant Kafka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be easy. That's gonna be a bitch. Yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. First wave goes in. Infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Yeah, Tarek, he's spoken to Kate okay, from Jareth. Jareth to Tarek, he's spoken to Garm, and he's been on board, and he did a successful hyper access by for the men. Uh, Lots of already taken, possibly exist, they will only have the guys needed to continue on to the next objective. Yeah, so, you know, the organization is one under a period of. Ooh. I don't want to be ready to move on Arya without the assistance of the other two. So, the work groups are planning to take out Arya. That don't expect could much be handy. From the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Be prepared. You need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself. I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. 
Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. This well, seems a little personal. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're basically just gonna sit here with your thumb up your ass. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. I'll get going. Good idea. Dick. FFID, that'll work. That should slow them down. Nice. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell up, friend or foe. What's up, big man? You're in the wrong place, freelancer. Hey, you are? You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave. Until he realizes you're more than he bargained for. To tell. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. Especially one of the guy in particular. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks, but he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. You fought him? He tried to take me down. Ah, crap, repeat. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. I should get going. About time. Leave us alone. 
fair security on this one. Do we have in here? Mm. Blue Sun's gun running accounts. <laughs> Still missed. Again. Saki? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you going to give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. With a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap them in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blaster's finished with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of- Target is in sight, where it go? Check. Bravo team, go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. Here, let me give you a hand. Working too hard. Have yeah, a nice rest. This doesn't look good for Archangel. What the hell are we waiting for? Come on, give these guys a surprise of our own. It's about to get fun. No shit. 
shields. Archangel. doing here just keeping my skill sharp a little target practice you okay been better but it sure is good to see a friendly face killing mercs is hard work especially on my own since when did you start calling yourself archangel it's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds <laughs> i don't mind it but please it's uh, just Garrus to you. Yeah, I could go with the you shot me, but he actually didn't. He kind of. <laughs> I never really gave him the chance. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Well, yeah, you're never one of their greeting card list. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. It's like, I want to exhaust all options, but he, he never got me. <laughs> well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But, it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. If we just wait, they'll pick us off eventually. It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Damn it, that is not the option I wanted to go with. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You? You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we can. Vindicator, need that. Helmet. 
emphasis on head. <clears throat> oh, well, that was a mistake. Should take care of itself. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to let Baby Huey do his thing. now. Shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Separate team, that's what they're waiting for. <clears throat> what the hell? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Zaid, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. Roger that. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. We can use this. Authority of the base commander. Authorization Archangel. Okay, so Gary shut that down. Alright.
we're gonna gotta be careful with. Okay, so that fucker. <laughs> Asshole. We took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. And... Watch out! Damn it, I thought I took that thing out already. It fixed it, but not completely. I'm sure of that. We're offloading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. Space magic for him. Probably a bit much for one guy.
Eh, where's the younger shit? corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are crooked. <laughs> Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. Do you remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. What's this area of the ship? This is the what? FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Okay. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. It'd be a great. Expensive, but necessary. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. The nice thing about Jake is always a little straight-laced. It's not too straight-laced. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Heavy armor. Oh, that's right. I gotta get down to the Engineers. I can not trip over every fucking table in the damn bay. Okay. Hey, 
Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything's going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Uh, yeah, don't do that. Edie has a valid concern, Joker. Knock it off. What? Come on! No padding, understood? What's the point of being a corporate ship if you can't inflate your results? What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. I'm not saying anything about Jack, I'm not stupid. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to decide why do we need ten freaking terminals? Yeah, I get it. It's a huge interstellar ship, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, you know, what do all these terminals do along with all that shit in the front? The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. Love it when you talk dirty. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. I'm in. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. It'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. <laughs> 500 bucks on Skillion 5 Poker. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. So worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> Have fun tinkering, kids. I don't know why, but I always love that outcome. <laughs> Z, you do realize that if I find one of those cameras in my quarters, I'm checking your ass out the airlock, right? Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillion Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Uh, it's definitely been through the ringer. <coughs> Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak in a one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. 
my first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Take out the treasure once in a while. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Jack, subject zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. Dropping into the Krobin DMC. Not exactly the smartest idea. <clears throat> hey. Question for you. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. X implants. <clears throat> I'm kind of being a little careful about how much I talk because one, there's a lot of dialogue in this game, and two, I keep getting that damn frog in my throat. for you. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Advanced mirror scanner, that'll come in handy. Huh. Okay, so here's the thing about ships. <clears throat> oh, Nordicus, hey. I just like, uh, Looked up and see that. And there's Dilgan. Yeah, the thing about ships, space is kind of at a premium, so this could very easily be turned into a, uh, a head of some kind. Shower, toilet, things like that. So it's a little weird that it's just like this big empty space right here. And yes, we have Miranda. And I'm just going around and pick up ship upgrades. I just got Garrus back. Uh, let's see here. I kind of do things a little different this time. Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields. Didn't have Argus has been fucked back. up on whiskey. He's taking it pretty hard. What uh, particular type of whiskey? I better not be Canadian mist. <laughs> How may I help you, Commander? Got your present, Doctor. I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I've always regretted not opening that <laughs> original bottle. When I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Well, Argus is a little bit uh, slush on lot number 40, right? You crack open the bottle, I'll get the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Alenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, that was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks... It's a little, still a little hot in here. ...enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often, they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, may 
hate you. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Vrolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Yeah, this time I was trying to see if there was anything a little bit different, so uh, in order to, I went ahead and got uh, Subject Zero first. Then I took her and uh, Zaid and got Morden. Then add Garrus. And from just a tactical standpoint, given the fact that I'm stuck with like pistols and auto pistols, I think it worked a little bit better. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or... Hell, maybe it's you, Shepard, our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? That'll work. Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. Oh, crap. It's kind of funny, you get done and she's just like passed out on one of the gurneys. I think I just need to go back and uh, hit up the research thing. Okay, Morton's Omni Tool. Turian crew member doing. His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters. Not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. I noticed that from the uh, original version of Mass 2 <coughs> to this one, they changed her face and her hairstyle. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I was just talking to you because you not have said that five seconds ago. Okay, Cerberus Command... <laughs> Okay, situation on Feather system. Scan planet, look for a base with close mercs. Okay, duck. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. Ah, yes, the, uh, the kid that was trying to sign up the uh, gl or trying to sign up for the Archangel mission. <laughs> I was kind of talking about earlier how uh, he picked up a uh, a pistol for like 50 credits. So uh, you know, if you see if you think of a credit like a buck, you really don't want 50 dollar guns. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see, did I, I don't think I had any new gear after that. I had a few new rifles. Okay. Oh, that's what happened. Uh, I know I should have just switched that out. I had him with the collector rifle. That takes way too much ammo and way too long to use, so I will go back to the grenades.
Okay, so let's see here. If we leave orbit, I don't think there's anything else to do here. Okay. But we do need to head over this way. Oh, hello. I gotta admit, the Andromeda scan system is way weirder. You drive around in your dune buggy, find a spot, and then call for a probe and try not to be under it when it starts scanning. Oh, hello. Probe Need to do a little away. scanning here. Probe away. Launching probe. Find more platinum in this game. Launching probe. Okay, I don't think I want to go too crazy scanning here just because of the fact that I'm not actually out here looking for minerals. Signal scans detect a transmitter to matching service encryption and register to an unknown deep cover operation. Service operative life signs unconfirmed. Other transmissions that match known eclipse coded communications are also detected. That reminds me, before I leave the system, I gotta talk to Arya back on Omega because I found intel that all the groups were trying to screw with her. Okay, let's see here. I think I want Garrison. Mr. Masani.
Okay, so... Yeah, I still have my little hand fan here in case it starts getting a little too hot because it's still hot as hell in here for some reason. I need to find something to upgrade the overall ammo you can take for the heavy pistols. Let's see what we got going here. This is a closet. What's going on here? Uh, oh boy, I'm glad I remember that. Security logs, subject ID, clip stage, clip stage, agent rollings. Money is connected to encrypted data they acquired. Data can conclusively prove Cerberus involvement in arachnid experiments. Ooh. Rollings was a cipher that could be used to decrypt the data without the cipher data could take eclipse years to decode. Okay. Subject captured. Capture found and board a ship in the Attican Traverse. Our loyalty ship's crew believed in the human dignitary and mission of discovery. Okay. Their agents managed to disable the ship in the hobble defenses long enough to extract ancient rollings. Been lost in there. <laughs> Been lost in an uh, attempt to obtain the asset. Okay, subject so interrogated. Interrogation fails by advanced interrogation techniques. Manage evade questions. They play more invasive methods. Methods. You're res resistant to those as well. Eventual resistance caused temperature flare. They consider unfortunately he did not live to pass on the cipher. Okay. So basically, they had a guy that had a cipher for an encrypted message. They chased him down, and when they couldn't actually end up getting a question answered, they just beat the crap out of him until he died. His dead ass was in the way. Why not detonate tech armor in this one? <clears throat> okay. Alright, it all 
take armor when the following is assault armor greatly increases effect energy best when the one is destroyed increases damage force okay so I cannot detonate the take armor in this one that's only the three apparently okay so I, apparently in this one I want to go with more indestructible as opposed to trying to run in and be a walking bomb Not gonna lie, I have so much time with uh, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. When it comes to take armor, I'm kinda used to running in. Ah! Oh, boom! Same thing with playing Vanguard. You play out of charge in, then, like, do this uh, slam thing. And man, that messes shit up. Body, a lot of stuff. Data logs. This computer contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Data uploaded to Alliance Command. They don't know where hurt me. <clears throat> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Encrypted data from last command. Da, 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 da. The public can do serious damage until you use the code, but it's a huge win for the Alliance. Nice. That was for Anderson. Good. Nala Butler. Da, 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 da. Okay, one of Garrus's guys. That's it. I haven't talked to Garrus yet. God damn it. Alright. I knew I was missing something. I gotta admit, this is kind of a kind of a lame outfit. I mean, future style maybe, but you know, it's like everything else looks halfway decent, except this. That's like what I would actually wear. I need to talk to Arya.
Oh boy. Has that guy been trying to get into this club? What do you need? Brought your present. This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shep. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Some work. What do you got? It depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers, a Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle nut up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine. But I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. All right, then. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your food. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. It's kind of funny. It's like, I kind of like helping Arya, but at the same time, I can't help but screw with her a little bit. me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought you said you retired. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh, no, Commander. I retire. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. Really? Here? That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. That's... More noble than I expected. Noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. 
You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. Well, yeah, good to hear you came clean. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. All right, well, I gotta move on. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Sirs, I think I went down the wrong tunnel. Okay, so that was the private room that they were recruiting out of. Hmm, <coughs> okay, let's go the right way. No, lower level, that means I need to actually go down. It's not really a mystery juice, it is a bar. How much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. Racist Batarian bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. Okay. I'm gonna handle this bartender. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. Concentration. Hope they're controlled. If they attack, as happened near my clinic, casualties likely. Hmm. Okay, that guy's dead. right here, Ogryn. That's the dwarf from uh, Dragon Age Origins. I think he's uh, specifically found... I think he's in the main game, but I know he's also in Awakening. <coughs> the uh, the DLC for Dragon Age. 
But uh, yeah, I always love uh, inciting him to shoot that guy straight in the face. That is not why I went down there. Larian bartender. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? Pour me a drink. Hold the poison. Oh, yes. I heard about my predecessor's little scheme. I'm very glad you survived. I've been instructed to give you drinks on the house. Rest assured that they will contain no illicit ingredients you haven't asked for. I like him. Everything's I dance bad, Jesus. Hello. Hello. You said he had close family. He'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then you'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you. I'm the patriarch. Aria's patriarch. What do you want? Patriarch, you say? Why do they call you patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Aria's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor. A trophy. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Oh, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Aria might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. Okay, that is kind of messed up. You don't consider yourself important unless you have somebody who wants to kill you. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I kill is long forgotten. The stories are Aria's now. What do you know about Aria? A few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Ari arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, Stronger. Well, we got a little issue here. You need to get you out of here. <clears throat> People want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Aria wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Aria's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. I'll see who thinks me important enough to kill. Oh, I have a better idea. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command, not just Arya's trophy. Oh, you could be. You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Uh, 
Okie doke. Back up the stairs, out the back. <clears throat> out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? Can you do something about it? Well, yes, yes I am. Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. You old Patriarch's crap. I wonder where the old man had one. You should have done your homework. I always like that outcome. really feeling nasty, I could probably do a lot worse than that, but the game is exactly written like that, and I need to remember how the hell to get out of here. Legendary edition of the first, the first Mass Effect. I keep looking at the stairs. All the dumb things to look at when it comes to rendering issues. Because I swear, half the stairs in the first game are like flat with like a texture on them, and the other half are actually like 3D rendered. Thank you, I appreciate that. You can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Thanks. We all come back later. You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. You look like you need to lose up. Uh, sorry, I am not exactly into guys. Yeah, I can attest to that. Uh -huh. It's kind of one of the things about uh, Arya's seat there. It's not exactly lower volume than the rest of the club. I should not go deaf. Come on, let me in. Wait, I think it's a pretty legit question. You know, it's a big, loud, booming club. You know, if you're on loud music like that all the time. Well, it's kind of a thing. Hearing damage is cumulative. Saved. Just be safe. Let's see your assignments. Respect some ingredients and some smuggling. Recover smuggled cargo. For your hourglass system.
Nebula. Before I do anything, this is what I think it is. Let's see, missile launcher, art projector, black storm. I think I'll take the missile launcher because I'm not entirely sure. Exactly. How much heavy ammo I've got, or if I have any at all, so. No messages for you, Commander. Thanks for telling me that the first time I walked by. Scan the asteroid belts. So I thought, okay. Actually, I think that the asteroid belts are only a thing in the first game. I think here all I have to do is. Projects, Element Zero is used for bioamp and Omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Probe away. Probe away. Kind of dawned on me. I didn't actually have to land on that. Okay, let's see here. I want. I think Garrus and Zaid. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. I have missiles. I have a lot of missiles. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, so they only managed to kill four crates. I think that's the best I've ever done on this. So, how come we can't have one of these on the Normandy instead of that freaking Mako? Okay, it's just by if I didn't concern with the Cerberus, we can farewell protocol. Initiate clean routine routine. Lock security X, turn lock to there, we'll complete. We'll complete. I don't know if that was already his cash or not. I am now out of coffee. Sky Harvest. Standard gas check goes to hydrogen helium. Space first, we're going to the helium 3. Uh, rather than Ornbilla, as its atmosphere is much more predictable. Huh, okay. Sky Harvest just seems like a very odd name. This, I'm going to explore <coughs> and maybe scan a few things. Uh, let's see. Space fairs indicate it's nowhere near as hospital as its neighbor is in Xanathu. Since hydrogen argas is thought to be in a thing to life, but the presence of borax on the surface spawned by a boron heavy core indicates the planet may once have had water. Detected. Hello. Detected line service requests that all ships keep watch for signs of the S MSV Estevanico. Lost a year ago in the sector, any data discovered in the will be rewarded. Service scans indicate the presence of a large shipwreck. Sensors bear similarities to that of the Estevanico. Structural integrity is critical. Life support damage, but cable sustaining skills occur. Recommend extreme caution. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, 
That's what I thought this was. about exactly what's going on on this planet because I keep hearing birds tweeting. I don't like going this close, this close to the enemy friendly ship. Hello! I don't think they ship break like me too much. Side missions may not have a bearing on the main story, but you do still get materials, money, experience. I'd imagine sometimes they're just inter interesting. Interesting, interesting, or interesting? And torsturing. Okay, so Doug, if you're watching on your phone, if you look up above the chat, you should see a number of buttons. The red one with a little white star in the middle is the blurb thing. First page should be freebies, the rest of the ones after that should be pay. Eek! this. Get me the fuck out of here.
Daddy? <gasps> yeah, see? You found it. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, most of the time... <laughs> <laughs> There's all kinds of effects. Uh, yeah, it never fails every time you know getting done with that particular mission. It's always a butt pecker to me to get out and uh, you know you know getting uh, that. Ah, get the hell out of here. Yeah, like I said, the first page is freebies. <laughs> For a limit, it is 2 o'clock in the morning. I've got to wrap up and get on out of here. Get my save. Okay, so. Got a couple of crewmates rescued. Don't get found the fart button. Alright, so we had a decent day. Ah, uh, 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 oh, stiff. Mm. Okay, well, anyway. <sighs> like I said, it is, but it is 2 o'clock in the morning. I've hit my forward limit. I have got to wrap up and get on out of here. I will be back tomorrow with Persona 4 Golden. <sighs> Saturday is my day off, and back on Sunday with Blaine Soul. So, yeah, I think I'm pretty good there. I keep thinking I want to say something else, but I don't know what else to say other than, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and break this here. All right, so for watching, thanks for watching. Hope everyone had at least a little, little, little bit of entertainment. But the speech is like not my strong suit. If you're watching the recording of this, you're still making still here again. Thanks for watching. Hope everyone had at least a little bit of entertainment beyond that. Do, 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 do. Wait for it. Get out of that. Hope everyone has a wonderful morning, new night, whatever it is with you are. I will see you again next time. I have got to go. Ew and Delgan, I am probably going to be on. Warframe in a secondary. I mean, like I said, hope everyone has a wonderful morning, new night, where it is, wherever you are. I have got to go.